The Ghana Maritime Authority is heading to court to seek an order to destroy seized wooden boats used for illegal fuel trade along the coast of Central and the Takradi Enclave. Director General of the Authority, Thomas Kofi Alonzi, said uh, the law will make the business unattractive to engage in fuel smuggling and protect fuel consumers from uh, substandard products. He spoke exclusively to Josephine Nchi Ejei. Illegal bunkering is done at night at the blind side of authorities. The illegality had assumed alarming proportions with more people in the trade. Locally called Adende, illegal boats are built without certification to use or to go to sea with. And disguised as fishing boats, these massive wooden vessels have the storage capacity of 10,000 of liters. Tons of fuel is pumped from the tankers into the local boats which sail to different beaches and discharge their content into awaiting road fuel tankers. Large quantities of fuel, mostly diesel, spills on the beaches, which also cause pollution to the water. The illegally procured fuel, which is usually of low quality, ends up on the market, having escaped the regulatory scrutiny and quality assurance from the National Petroleum Authority, NPA, imposing a serious risk to vessels. The Director General of the Ghana Maritime Authority, Thomas Alonzi, says the board owners have violated the authority's law which requires them to obtain permits. For any ship to engage in ship-to-ship -ship transfer of oil, you need an approval from the Ghana Maritime Authority. The guys involved in this illicit business are becoming so courageous and brave that they don't even see the activity as illegal. First and foremost, for even a boat of that size to be manufactured, you need a permit from the Ghana Maritime Authority. At various stages of the construction, the authority ought to do inspections. But these things, they don't, they don't involve the authority in any way. So we, we, are no, we, are, we are in no doubt whatsoever that once we come across any of such boats, they can even be arrested. Thomas Alonzi added the state had been denied of large amount of revenue and regulators have also lost levies through the street. And uh, we've been able to seize a number of them. But uh, where we have kept them at the moment, the place appears to be flooded with huge numbers of those confiscated uh, boots. So we now have a challenge of getting rid of them. So we have taken a decision to go to court to have an order of the court to dispose of them by way of destruction. That is the step we want to take. The authority has stepped out night patrols, which is leading to more arrests. On May night, more than 200 of sad boats were impounded during a swoop with the police at 2nd D. The distraction, they intimated, will serve as a deterrent to many. Josephine and GAJ, TV3 News.